Good morning, good morning, good morning. Time to rise and shine. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope you're feeling fine. Cooking up some sausage, cooking up some eggs, cooking up some steak, got some raw cheddar, 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 dumping some salt on there. And I think that something like Kratom, or any drug really, I think any drug is gonna take you uh, from where you currently are and it can take you to a spot that you wouldn't otherwise normally be able to access or get to uh, much the way that steroids uh, would or mushrooms or any of these kinds of things. So I think Kratom, I think, is a, is a nice gateway into just feeling good and being like kind of thrown into a good mood whether you want to be grumpy or not. And so for me, it kind of takes a little bit of that edge off. And I don't need a lot of Kratom. I, I've messed around with a lot of different dosages and I've noticed that, you know, I, I've taken up to like 20 capsules at a time. You know, I don't I forget how many grams that is, but well, it was a 750, yeah, 750 milligrams per capsule. So, you know, times, you know, 750 times 20, you know, puts us, yeah, it's a, <laughs> I have a cast iron stomach, so no, I was okay, but uh, yeah, I was really high, but you know, it didn't, it didn't deliver, you know, what I was looking for. I played around with the different dosages as you do with uh, some experimentation, and I, d I only need like two or three capsules to feel really, really good, and we make an extract as well. My product is called Mind Bullet, and the reason why it's called Mind Bullet is because I feel like it, it's kind of like sending your mind off to the moon like it, it it feels so good as if as i was mentioning earlier it's almost as if your favorite song is playing uh you know when you're getting the benefit of uh taking kratom so i use it before i work out take some of the bumps and bruises off and when i get to the gym and i start my workout i just i don't even really warm up anymore i mean i'll, I'll take some precaution i'll start out with lighter weights but I'm not foam rolling and dicking around doing a bunch of other stuff. I get right to it. And, and I don't know what it is about Kratom in particular, but uh, it makes you like empathetic and it gives you compassion. Uh, it's almost like you got a bunch of hugs from somebody and all of a sudden you're kind of just, it feels like a warm blanket's been put over you and then you're just, you, you find yourself texting people, telling, you, telling them how thankful you are for them and you find yourself just super happy and like even something like, um, even something like going through the airport, you know, when you travel, sometimes it's a little stressful and, and you notice like everyone's wearing it on their face. They just need to get to this place and they they have a madder look on their face than the people at the DMV. I don't know what the hell is going on when you're traveling, but people are like very determined to get to their destination, you know. And when I travel, I'll take a little bit of Kratom before I go and I'm smiling at people and I think people think I'm a fucking ax murderer or something because they're looking at me like I got two heads. But I'm just in a really good mood and feeling really good and I'm... I'm not really like quote unquote worried about where I'm going. I know I'm gonna get there whenever the, you know, whenever the plane gets me there. Uh, I've had the brand for a little, a little over a year and um, it's just something like, I've been taking it for like the last maybe about two and a half, three years. My brother kept telling me about it and when my brother was telling me about it, I was like, I'm not really in the same amount of pain that he's in. Like I'm in like what I would call like self-induced pain, you know, I'm in my own, my own personal hell because I put myself there because of the style of training that I do. And usually if I let off a training a little bit, which I'm not smart enough to ever do, if I let off a training a little bit, I usually feel a little bit better. Um, but yeah, one day I think I tweaked my back and I was like, hey, let me just let me just give it a try and let me see what it's like. And it just reminded me of like going in a hot tub. Like it didn't it didn't solve everything for me, but it gave me temporary relief. And the temporary relief was while I was at the gym. And I was like, this is amazing. Like I feel, I feel warm, I feel loose. I feel like I can get through the workout without any problem. And uh, you know, there I was, you know, staying in the gym for even like a longer period of time than normal. And so I was excited by that. And I was like, man, this is an amazing product. And as I started taking it more often, uh, I started to like, you know, really wonder about the, uh, the safety of the product. You know, I wanted to know like, hey, like what's this gonna do? Is this gonna cause any uh, respiratory depression? Uh, like opioids can do and is this going to cause you know the heart to flutter and and these kinds of things and so even more so than like researching it because I'm not much of a researcher and I'm not much of a I don't even I just don't even really like science to be totally honest with you for multitude of reasons but uh, anyway I you know 
did some brief research on it, looked into it a bunch. We had a meta-analysis done of it, which is, as your viewers already know, it's just a study of studies. But we wanted to take precaution and make sure that uh, there was there was no stone unturned and make sure that we felt that this is a product uh, that other people can enjoy as well as just me. And so, but a lot of it was just me taking it and passing it along to friends and saying, hey, try this, see if you like it. I had some people that took it and they're like, hey man, like that made me nauseous. And I was like, well, I guess it's just not for you. Like I don't, you know, it's not gonna work perfectly in each person. Maybe similar to like CBD or some, or some people with like tea or coffee or whatever it might be. Uh, but this thing vibed really well with me and a lot of the people around me. And so uh, we went off to the races. I was like, let's, you know, let's get this thing to market. And it's not even something that we talk about that much. That's why you didn't know that we have it because I'm not like outwardly and aggressively trying to push it on anybody. I'm like, hey, look, this, we have this. We have a product called Mind Bullet and you can get it at mindbullet.com if you'd like to check it out. You can investigate it on your own. We have sample packs that you can try. Just like give it a try, and if you don't like it, you don't like it, then uh, that, that's just fine. But I think most people will really enjoy it. Just coming back from Super Trending Gym, the strongest gym in the West. Had a great time with Carl Lenore on his podcast. And then also uh, shot a piece of video content today talking about knowledge. Talking about how you can never stop learning. It's important that you continue your education and you continue to learn. Um, you know, going to school is one thing. I think going to school is where a lot of people's education goes to die, where a lot of their learning and interest goes to die. Think about how a kid learns, how a child learns. They learn in spurts that are short, right? Additionally, they learn uh, by way of interest. It's like, what are they interested in? What are they excited about? And then that's what they go explore. They're like little explorers. They explore everything. They check shit out. They see what they like. They see what they don't like. They see what works and what doesn't work. And things that work and things that are fun, they do it repeatedly for a while until they're like, eh, I'm going to move on to something else. They get kind of tired of it. Or they see how predictable it is that the same result keeps happening and they, and they kind of move on. But school is much different than that. But it's still important that regardless of your thoughts of school, like if you had a hard time like I did in school, so I'm not a fan of school, I get, definitely have a bias against it and think it's like downright criminal actually I don't I don't agree with it at all I think it, it goes on for way too long I think part of the system in place that we have in the United States is because parents have nine to five jobs so it keeps the kids occupied doing something else but I don't think it's effective I don't think it's efficient anyway aside from me thinking that our uh, public education system is criminal um I had a great time, you know, on, on Carl Lenora's podcast and then the content I created um, as well, talking about knowledge, which you'll see that video pop up on this uh, pod, on this channel soon. And uh, I was basically sharing that information out with you, how it's important that you're always learning. And getting on Carl Lenora's podcast is, is a great learning experience for me as well because Carl um, has Superhuman Radio. And Superhuman Radio is about tape, taking that deep dive taking that deep dive down that rabbit hole of like, hey, let's explore every and anything and let's see where we're wrong. Like, let's prove ourselves wrong. Let's go a little scientific on some of this stuff. Let's experiment and see, you know, how do we prove ourselves wrong rather than like continue to find biases that make you right, which I'm definitely have been guilty of even with something like the carnivore diet and I'm working on getting better at uh, communicating a much, much different message now. Uh, heading, heading back into Davis from West Sacramento. That's where the Super Training Gym is. This is in West Sacramento. Super Training Gym, Slingshot World Headquarters. It's all under one rough roof. Got a lot of podcasting to do tomorrow, which is Thursday. And then Friday, I fly out to Mexico, which I'm super excited about. Flying out there with the wifey. That ought to be a lot of fun. And let's see. Uh, right now, I'm heading to downtown Davis going to hit up a good walk. I just got a 10 minute walk in at the office, but I'm going to do another one downtown. Maybe sip on some coffee, got some yoga a little bit later on today. And uh, we're doing a photo shoot downtown Davis at a place called DeVere's. So I might kind of pop in on that and uh, grab a burger and uh, go on about my day and about my business. Anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. I thought it's important. Like, you know, one of the keys to happiness and success in this world 
or the single greatest thing for success and um, happiness, in my opinion, is problem solving. Um, but you're not going to problem solve things that you're not interested in. So, you know, it, it has to be something that interests you. Like, you're not going to lose weight. You're not going to make the right decision until it's time, until it interests you. You're not going to stop drinking alcohol until it interests you. Um, you're not going to stop cheating on your diet or cheating on your spouse until it interests you. Until you realize that, that uh, you know, another option is going to be a better option for you. That's really all life is all about. It's about problem solving. And um, you, you got to figure out different ways of solving problems for yourself, whether it be a financial problem or whether it be something with your body or whether it be something in your relationship, no matter what it is, something in your career. It could be anything, really. But that's all we're here for is to solve a bunch of problems. I don't know why, but that's mainly what life is all about. And the more knowledge that you have, the easier it is going to be to solve those problems. And the easier it's going to be to be successful, and the easier it's going to be to be happy. Got it? Good. Page 43, perfect. Everyone always wants to give you pickles and onions and lettuce. They must think I'm a rabbit. So I'm just going to eat that meat. On another 10 minute walk. Just cruising around here in Davis. Got a little bit of time before I got some yoga today. Came down here earlier for a photo shoot and been just kind of kicking it down here. Hanging out at a coffee shop. Getting in a few 10 minute walks. Taking in the sun. Sun feels good. Got some yoga coming up. Yo, yo, just got done with yoga. A little dark up in here, so you can't see me very good. Just cranking some music. Maybe you can see me better this way. There we go. About to head to uh, some sushi. Gonna eat some steak at the sushi place. They have uh, some Wagyu steak that is absolutely amazing that they cook on the stone. You guys might have seen me do that before. I'm gonna enjoy some sushi. When I go to sushi, I only get sashimi. So some of you bitches, some of you little bitches have been complaining and saying, um, you're like, hey, how come? Oh, sorry, lights went out. Some of you guys have been saying, um, hey, that's not keto or that's not carnivore. What about the rice? I don't eat rice, you dumb asses. All right, I'm going to uh, pound a bunch of food and I can't wait. Just got done with yoga, yoga felt good. Yoga is teaching me to lengthen my mind and stretch my mind and it's not necessarily doing anything to stretch my body just yet but uh, from an emotional standpoint and from kind of an inward standpoint it's feeling really powerful and really good and it's helping me with being more critical and more rational towards other problems and other things that I need to solve in my day-to-day -day and in my life so it relaxes me and it teaches me that teaches me the strength of meditation it teaches me the strength of chilling the fuck out right maybe you don't need a class for it but i do and uh it feels good i'm really enjoying it and um i'm learning a lot about myself and uh i i really just feel that that's a crucial element of life is learning a lot about yourself so you can serve others all right go and eat some sushi oh, it looks like the place is being remodeled <laughs> So I'm not going to be able to eat in there, I think. Son of a bitch. So, uh, Huku was closed down, and so um, I had to call it Audible. And now I'm home, and I'm going to eat some food here. It's a little later in the day. You know, it's like 7, and I'm pretty hungry. But uh, not a big deal. You don't let stuff get mad, make you mad. It's, uh, it's just all how, we, um, it's all how we interpret things, right? It's all how we take things in. Uh, the place wasn't open. Maybe the food there for that day was going to make me sick. Or um, who knows what would happen, right? Uh, you know, I, I'm just a firm believer in, uh, you know, everything is, um, it, it, it's all in your mind. It's all in how you interpret things. And so um, it's, a, it's a silly, it would be a silly thing to get mad about anyway. But uh, as I've gotten older and more mature, I just have learned that 
you know, those are silly things that trigger people and people get upset. And um, one thing I've noticed, one of the hardest things for people to control is their anger and uh, getting emotional and, and mad and upset and stuff. And a, a tip on that too is with your food, you know, it's always a good idea to like, fasting is great, but don't get yourself into a predicament where you're fasting and then when you get home, like you're cooking and you're just like ravenous. When you get home, have some sort of snack, you know, eat a little something that has been previously prepared or something that you can heat up quickly sit down and eat that and allow yourself about 10, 15 minutes to just enjoy that for a minute and relax. Maybe while you're doing that, the stove is heating up, the oven's heating up or something like that. But don't be cooking while you're doing that because it's, it's kind of causing another stress. Do your best to try to figure out a way to chill out, to relax, take a chill pill, Jill. And then from there, uh, you know, work on getting your, your meal in from there. But anyway, that's what I'm going to be doing right now. I got to cook up some food. I'll probably heat up some bone broth first, have that. And uh, while I'm doing that, I'll have the, uh, the stove heating up. So here we go. Got my mouth tape, Somnifix, and uh, some Breathe Right strips. Help me get to sleep tonight. Helps me get a little bit better sleep. And then here's some of my cheeses. I have a raw goat cheese right here. I have this grass-fed cheese right here. And this is another, I think this might be raw, but it's garlic jack. And then there's a like habanero one. I'm just eating chunks of these as I'm uh, waiting for my stove to heat up. And I got some bone broth. This bone broth is actually just straight epic bone broth. It's beef jalapeno. I just threw a little extra garlic salt in there a little extra seasoned salt in there, but I didn't throw in like butter or eggs or like sometimes I really fatten it up, but keeping the fat calories a little bit more moderate. Just keeping the fat a little bit more moderate for the next few days, so didn't add anything to it. Still getting in plenty of fat from this cheese and from some of the other stuff I've been eating, so. Anyway, just gonna sit here, enjoy some of this for a little bit, and then I'll get to cooking. Having a little snack. So I've been working. I've been working with my friend over at Icon Meals, the owner, CEO, head honcho, Todd Abrams. And uh, he sent me out some of this meatloaf. Got meatloaf, like a meatloaf patty, basically. And then some sort of greens. And then um, some sort of uh, cauliflower, whatever the heck you want to call that. Anyway, I tried her out and it's really good. And for the purposes of the taste testing, I uh, tried some of the cauliflower. Don't everybody get all upset. Try to be level-headed out there. <laughs> but here we go. Absolutely fantastic. Todd and his company do a great job. I'll make you guys more aware of like when this stuff's available because I'm not 100% sure on when it goes live and when it starts being on the internet and stuff like that, being for sale, but when it does, I'll give you a discount code. You can go check it out. You might be able to check it out now. I just don't have a code for you at the moment, I don't think. You could try Mark Bell, but I don't know if that's active yet. We're still working on it. About to cook up some more food. I think I'm gonna make some hot dogs for tonight. Piedmontese, some of those Piedmontese wieners. Look at these things. Big, thick, juicy. Can I get a hey now? And then look over here. Whoa, I filled them with some sour cream and some uh, sour cream and got some cheese in there, some raw cheese. These are gonna be amazing. Uh, each, uh, each hot dog has 21 grams of protein and 10 grams of fat, I believe. I added some Icon Meal Shrimp to the mix and uh, Look at this trashy show we're watching. I don't even know what this is, but wifey's got it on. Anyway, about to eat. This will be uh, it for today. This is uh, day number 56 or 57, whatever it is. Anyway, thanks so much for following along in the comments below. Let me know your results because I want to start posting some of the results that you guys are having with the carnivore diet. Uh, let me know some of the changes that are occurring and some of the things that are going on. 
That would be absolutely amazing, because like I said, I'm gonna scan through them, scroll through them, and uh, I'm gonna post about them and talk about them, talk about some of your transformations and some of the, uh, some of the epic changes that some of you have. Strength is never a weakness, weakness is never a strength. Catch y'all later. Push.